Now, the people who brought you Hot Rod Magazine has started a new publication called Overkill. The current cover features a hot rod that was built right here in Reading. KRC, our News Channel 7's Mark Mester, caught up with a father-son duo that put it all together. I went for loud and obnoxious and the shock factor, yeah, for sure. Did he ever? This is a 1931 Nash Model 662. It weighs 2,200 pounds, has 500 horsepower, and it graces the cover of Overkill magazine. The folks behind the magazine are probably hoping for the same reactions the car gets when it's around town. They do a double take, you know, they look at it and look at it again, thinking, is that for real? And a lot of people pull up next to me at stoplights with their cell phones, taking pictures and stuff, so. People usually rubberneck a lot. Uh, take their phones out, take pictures, get thumbs up a lot of times too. But this hot rod called Nashty Habit didn't always turn heads. By the looks of this, it would probably turn stomachs first. But not Todd Van Vocals. He's been building cars since he was 16 and saw potential when he bought this piece of rust on eBay. So the fun for me is in the build and creating it and driving it for a little while and let somebody else enjoy it and build something else. <laughs> Letting someone else enjoy Nashty Habit was what Todd was trying to do when he put the car back on eBay to sell. That's when the magazine called. So Jake actually played the message. I thought it was kind of a prank myself. And he said, no, nah, it's a scam. And I, I told him to call him back, so he did. And then they came over one day and I got to skip school. When the cameras showed up, Jake Von Bokel couldn't believe it. Talk about the emotions they had. It was almost surreal, really. I didn't. I never thought I... My, I could help build a car that'd be on the cover of a magazine, so it was pretty exciting for me. But for this 15-year-old, the experience wasn't about the glitz or the glam or the bragging rights, but rather learning the ropes from his old man. It means a lot to me. Um, it's more about spending time with my dad, though. Jake's been working in his dad's garage since he was three. He started like any apprentice, fetching orders, turning screws, but time has passed, and teacher is starting to learn from student. I usually show him up every once in a while and put him in his place. <laughs> so give me an example. How did, how did you show him up? Um, one time, uh, he was fussing about putting something in, and I got in there and did it myself. <laughs> <laughs> so what was his reaction? Uh, he told me good job, and then I kind of rubbed it in his face a little bit, and we went on to the next thing. <laughs> this father-son duo is now putting the finishing touches on Nashty Habit. The car has been sold to a buyer in the Keystone State. But the work continues on this 1956 Chevy Bel Air 210 Post. And even if it doesn't grace the cover of a national publication, it'll keep the bond of a father and a son strong.